Welcome back to Automotive Territory. This week we expected to move forward and cover some down-to-earth sports cars, but automakers had a different plan. Yet another dozen of new super, hyper and mega cars was released around the globe. Therefore, one more time we'll revisit the topic of the planet's most exclusive, most powerful and most unattainable automobiles of 2024 and beyond. So subscribe to the channel, ring the bell and enjoy the stream right. Pininfarina B95 The next step in Pininfarina's journey to become a fully-fledged auto manufacturer comes in the form of an in-house designed all-electric hypercar. Planned for deliveries in 2025, the B95 honors the 95th anniversary of the brand that will take place that year while the B in its name stands for Barchetta, a typical Italian two-seat roadster. The model follows the brand's new pure design philosophy that was just revealed by the Pininfarina Pura Vision concept. The car has low and wide bodywork with a pointy tail, full width LED rear lights, streamlined fairings and fighter jet-inspired polycarbonate aero screens, protecting the passengers from the wind. Its exterior is wrapped in metallic bronzo Superga paintwork, contrasted by gloss yellow up front and atop the driver's dome. The forged aluminum wheels are mismatched, measuring 20 inches front and 21 at the rear. All four are fitted with 15.3-inch Brembo carbon ceramic disc brakes with six-piston calipers. Finally, the most groundbreaking features of the B95 is its four-motor electric drivetrain. Paired to the T-shaped 120 kWh battery, it produces 1900 horsepower and ensures under 2 seconds 0 to 60 and 186 mph max velocity. The battery itself is fast charge capable, capping at 270 kW. Bugatti Chiron Super Sport Golden Era as it is often the case in the world of ultra-luxury cars, the Golden Era project is a custom make for a secret client, which took nearly two years to create. Perhaps the most complicated one-off in the brand's history features 45 hand-painted sketches on its bodywork, portraying remarkable milestones of Bugatti's past. The passenger side has 26 drawings depicting Bugatti's historic models, like the 1926 Type 41 Royale and the Type 57 Atlantic. On the driver's side you will find another 19 sketches that celebrate the brightest Bugatti's moments after the brand's revival in 1987 and cover every major model between the EB110 and the Veyron. All in all, the painstaking artwork took Bugatti designers 400 hours to complete. The customer wanted maximum authenticity of the sketches so all of them were completed with the same pens that Bugatti's designers use on the paper. The car comes painted into a unique light golden hue called Door that gradually fades into the metallic nocturne black color sprayed onto the entire front end. Six more sketches with Bugatti's icons are present inside the cabin on the door panels. Mechanically, it is unchanged from the Chiron Super Sport, so you're getting the famous W16 with 1600 horsepower. Hennessy Venom F5 Revolution Roadster The fourth model of the Venom F5 family is built on the track-focused Revolution Coupe, but drops its roof. Hennessy tells us that losing the top does not cause any performance trade-offs, so the Roadster should demonstrate the same prowess, reaching over 250 mph speeds. The roof itself is a one-piece carbon fiber panel lined with Alcantara that weighs just 18 pounds and can be removed by one person. The car's aerodynamics is reworked and it is now focused on producing more downforce. There is an extra sharp front splitter, a new bumper with dive planes, a large rear wing and a roof scoop that feeds the air to the engine. Speaking of the latter, the Revolution Roadster also brings new cooling system for its twin-turbo 6.6-liter V8, aka the Fury. The latter is mid-mounted in the carbon fiber tub and is visible through the tempered glass engine window. 
1,817 horses and 1,183 pound-feet are directed to the rear wheels through a 7-speed automatic gearbox that has been recalibrated for racing. Finally, the F5's double wishbone suspension setup is retuned and is fitted with adjustable dampers. The Venom F5 Revolution Roadster will be produced in a limited number of 12 units, priced at 3 million bucks. Plus, a few of them will have exposed carbon fiber elements and even more prohibitive pricing. Aston Martin TB12 and TB12 Volante Aston Martin introduces the successor to their iconic DB11, aiming to redefine the Grand Touring experience yet again. The Brits boldly call TB12 the world's first Super GT. We won't challenge them on that statement and just acknowledge the progress that the legendary James Bond lineage has made this time. The Aston will be sold in both coupe and convertible variants, with a larger grille, bulkier bumpers, sleeker swap-back headlights, C-shaped rear taillights and 21-inch forged alloy wheels. While this Aston Martin retains a 4-liter V8 engine, akin to its predecessor, there are rumors of the potential V12 version down the road. At present, this newcomer is equipped with a twin-turbo engine sourced from Mercedes-Benz AMG division, generating an impressive 671 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque. Thanks to the enhancements like an 8-speed automatic transmission and an electronic limited slip differential, the DB12 accelerates from 0 to 60 mph in a mere 3.5 seconds and reaches the top speed of 202 mph. Inside, Aston Martin continues its tradition of blending materials like wood, metal and carbon fiber. The modernized interior features a 10.25-inch touchscreen and includes sought-after amenities like Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Maserati MCX Trama The MCX Trama is a highly exclusive, track-focused variant of the recent Maserati MC20 sports car. But despite sharing the carbon fiber chassis and the engine, these two have very few in common. MCX Trama directly competes with the Lamborghini Huracan Performante and Porsche 911 GT2 RS. Only 62 units are planned for production, with roughly half intended for the US market. This Maserati boasts a 730 horsepower Netuno twin turbo 3 liter V6 engine with 530 pound feet of torque. There is a 109 HP boost that was achieved through upgraded turbochargers and exhaust system enhancements. It employs a 6-speed sequential transaxle with a limited slip differential. The car comes with aerodynamic features like an adjustable wing, flat underbody, large side scoops, and a unique longitudinal spine. Its suspension features Allen's 4-way adjustable dampers and adjustable anti-roll bars. Remarkably, the MCX Trama features air jacks for easy maintenance at the track. Inside the cabin, it is stripped down, featuring a racing-style yoke, two futuristic consoles, and an optional passenger seat. And finally, a safety cage built to FIA standards enhances chassis stiffness. Mercedes-AMG GT The second generation of GT Coupe arrives with the new exterior dimensions, improved cabin space with optional 2 plus 2 seating and revised aerodynamics. The new GT grows 7 inches in length, adds 2.8 inches to its wheelbase and becomes 1.6 inch wider. These changes, along with the car's aluminum space frame construction, allow to increase its everyday usability. The profile of the GT looks more powerful due to longer silhouettes and short overhangs. The car gets active underbody aerodynamics and an active rear spoiler. Plus an optional aerodynamics package brings even more enhancements, including a fixed rear wing. Wheels are 20 or 21 inches, housing cast iron or carbon ceramic brakes. Michelin Pilot Sport S5 summer tires are available. For now, the AMG GT shall launch in two IC configurations, GT55 and GT63, powered by 4 liter twin turbo V8 with 469 or 577 horses. 
It is repositioned atop of the front transaxle line and is paired to the 9-speed automatic gearbox with a clutch pack instead of a torque converter. Other mechanical features of the new GT include a semi-active rear suspension, adaptive dampers, rear-wheel steering, and an electronically controlled limited-slip differential. Bear in mind that this is the second episode of the series that covers the most anticipated supercars of 2024 and beyond. Support our channel with a like and make sure to watch part 1 through the link on the end screen or in the description. Let's keep rolling! Ford Mustang GTD The brand's most powerful road car will arrive in 2024 with the Ferrari-level price tag and the ambition of a sub-7 minute lap time at Nürburgring. The street-legal version of Ford's new GT3 racer inherits most elements from its aerodynamic package, except for the side-exit exhaust setup. There are huge air scoops, a massive front splitter, vented bonnet, and a hydraulically controlled active rear wing. To get the most of the Michelin Pilot Sport Cup tires grip, the GTD is fitted with a bespoke semi-active suspension, consisting of an unequal length control arm setup at the front and a pushrod-style multi-link setup at the rear. There are also multimatic adaptive spool valve tampers. The GTD rides on standard 20-inch forged aluminum wheels with the stopping power provided by carbon ceramic brakes. Ford also offers slider forged magnesium wheels as paid extras. All the mentioned goodies, along with plenty of carbon fiber parts and the car's near 50-50 weight distribution, only make sense with proper mill under the hood. As such, the GTD is propelled by a supercharged 5.2-liter V8, which according to Ford, will deliver over 800 horsepower to the rear wheels. BAC Mono On the market since 2011, BAC's lightweight single-seater is getting thoroughly redesigned and refined for 2024. The overall concept of the Mono remains unchanged. The Roadster is compact and low to the ground. It is a race suspension and engine, plus there is just enough lighting to make it legal for street driving. The car has softer bodywork lines, uses graphene-infused carbon for the panels, and packs a comprehensive aerodynamic setup. Here is a massive front splitter, sleeker air intakes, and a new rear spoiler. The headlights are single-unit LEDs. Its 2.5-liter naturally aspirated engine from Ford and Mountain Racing is reworked to rev to 8,000 rpm, and now it produces 320 horses and 213 pound-feet. These are sent to the rear wheels with the help of a 6-speed sequential transmission. The car's overall weight is just 1,257 pounds. This means 2.7 seconds zero to 60 and power to weight ratio of 546 horses per ton. The promised weight distribution is 41 by 59%. Finally, BC worked on the Mono's pushrod actuated suspension, making it more pleasant to drive on public roads and less aggressive on the track. Bugatti Bolit Nowadays, Bugatti is renowned for crafting extremely exclusive hypercars. But if we rewind to the 1920s, they were also responsible for creating one of the planet's most victorious racing vehicles, the Type 35. Liebe had a century, and the French automaker is revisiting its origins by imbuing the 8-liter quad-turbo W16 engine with the potential to power one of the lightest and most uncompromising track machines of recent times. In French, Bowley translates to a racing car, while in Italian it symbolizes a fireball. A fireball that in its final testing stages has already begun melting tracks around the globe. This Le Mans-oriented hypercar has a completely new carbon monocoque 3D printed materials and titanium screws to decrease the weight to 3,190 pounds or 1,450 kilos. With 1,600 horsepower output, it achieves incredible weight to power ratio of 2 pounds or 0.9 kilograms per HP. Additionally, with 6,000 pounds of downforce at the maximum speed, 
the car gets an imaginable level of grip and stability in high-speed corners. Only 40 Bugatti Bolites will be produced, and for the asking price of just 4 million euros, future owners will get such cool bonuses as a fire extinguisher, a head and neck support device, free access to track days and custom helmets. Zinger 21C Blackbird Edition Taking full advantage of artificial intelligence and 3D printing divergent adaptive production system, the American automotive startup continues advancing its C21 portfolio. The production is still split between 40 21C VMAX models and 40 track-focused 21Cs. The latter will be additionally differentiated by four Blackbird editions that fully embrace the original design concept of a spy plane. The allusions to the namesake Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird are exposed carbon fiber parts, Blackbird logos, wheels resembling the SR-71's sleek shape, and a jet-like two-seat cockpit. The rear features a large wing, and exhaust ports reminiscent of afterburners. Within the cabin the theme continues, with a deep black Alcantara interior, orange trim, and seat inserts resembling afterburner glow. Just like the original Singer 21C, the Blackbird Edition is capable of record-setting performances at various US racetracks, including Laguna Seca and the Circuit of the Americans. The hypercar owes this to the all-wheel drive hybrid powertrain comprised of an in-house developed 2.88-liter twin-turbo V8 that spins to 11,000 rpm. It is assisted with a 7-speed sequential transaxle gearbox and a duo of electric motors. The combined system output is 1,350 horses, and since the weight is mere 2,900 pounds, the part-weight ratio equals to 1 HP per kilo. McLaren Solus GT Even though McLaren's latest marvel is born out of a virtual racer, it won't be losing any performance characteristics of the original fantasy-driven concept. Just like all the other McLarens since 1981, the Solus GT delivers a Formula 1 driving experience thanks to the super light, rigid carbon fiber monocoque, 3D printed titanium halo cockpit protection, and roll hoop. The scar was designed using computational fluid dynamics and honed to perfection by exhaustive wind tunnel testing to generate 2,640 pounds of max downforce while weighing just 2,200 pounds. At the heart of the Solus GT sits a naturally aspirated 5.2 liter V10 that drives to 10,000 rpm, peaks at 840 horses, takes 2.5 seconds to get to 60, and reaches 200 mph speeds. Its cockpit hides a single centrally positioned seat, radio comps, and a head and neck safety device. Each car out of 25 units edition should arrive to its owner with an FIA homologated suit, helmet, and a travel case. Customers can choose between four exterior liveries, plus countless customizations are available through the McLaren MSO division. Lamborghini Revuelto The highly anticipated successor to the Aventador becomes Lamborghini's first foray into the segment of hypercars. The unveil took place just before the 60th anniversary of the mark and confirmed Italian's dedication to further electrification of their lineup without the need to abandon iconic naturally aspirated engines. This high-performance electrified vehicle, aka HPV, combines the power of an all-new 6.5-liter V12 with three high-density electric motors and a groundbreaking transversal 8-speed dual-clutch e-gearbox. This all-wheel drive setup makes 1,015 horsepower and has torque vectoring capability. The Lambo Revuelto rides on a new carbon fiber monofuselage chassis inspired by the aviation industry, and it improves its aerodynamics with a new active rear wing and actuators. To handle its top speed of 218 mph and 2.5 seconds 0 to 60 sprints, the Lambo Hypercar employs carbon ceramic brakes, plus Lamborghini Magnarite suspension and Potenza Sport run flat tires. The interior of the Revuelto 
fully embodies the feel like a pilot concept, emphasizing straightforward shapes, symmetry, and a driver centric design. The futuristic setting has distinctive hexagon shaped elements, carbon and Alcantara throughout, full wireless smartphone connectivity, and a whole four rotors on the steering wheel and three screens. How do you like this week's dose of supercar content? Which model is the most groundbreaking in your personal opinion? I want to hear you out in the comment section, so jump in! Do not forget to check out the first part of the series that covers new supercars of 2024 and beyond. The link is on the screen. Smash the like button, subscribe to Automotive Territory and ring the bell. May the torque be with you!